So before we start, there will be a written description of everything said in this video, just in case you can't understand my voice or I just talk too fast. So, first of all, you want to open up CurseForge, and once you open up CurseForge, go to Minecraft, do all the basic setup process, go to Curse, and type in Arcane, click download the server pack, download this wherever you want, and I'm setting it to my download folder. For right now, it's for ease of convenience, I'm going to create a folder on my desktop called CAE server and I'm gonna open it go find where I just download my files at and set my set the folder to extract into the folder I just called CAE server and have it extract into there. Now once it's finished it's extracting I'll be right back with you. Just wanna interject real quick. Uh, this might take a little bit especially if you have a hard drive if you have an SSD it should take about what it appears to be a minute or two, so yeah. Alright, so we're back. What you want to do now is you want to click on the links, and I have a link directly to either... So the first link will be a link directly to the website, but if you want to directly to the installer, you want to click the second link. The second link will bring you here, it will download it. You want to put it just anywhere, but if you actually want to be super sure, put it in your desktop folder called CNA Server. Once it's in there, click install, and make sure you click install server client, and make sure it's set to the same exact CNA server, and let it do its thing. Now I know you saw it, so the warning said this file is already here, you can ignore that, it's not a big issue. So yeah, let's so we'll let this fully install it, and your server should be up, well, after a little bit more steps. Ooh, when it's done finish when it's done finish uh, when it's finished you'll get this thing right here it says especially done in Minecraft press OK you can ignore that Once, now here what you want to do here is if you're running Linux you'll do run the sh but if you're running Linux there's probably about other steps you have to do this in the first place but if you're running Windows like I am you have to click run that bat it'll pull up the screen it will go through a little bit of a starting process and give it like a little bit you'll eventually have to go back out here and I'll give you additional further steps Ooh, as you can see right here, it says you need to agree to the ELA, so press any key, go to ELA.txt, open up whatever um, notepad editor you have, and make sure you set this to tree, it's T-R-U-E, in all caps, or true, in all caps, no spaces and everything. Press enter, then after that, your server should be running fine next when you press run that bat. Now, an important note, it says Java arguments folder. There is some more stuff you can add in here for right now, but what I would recommend is removing this little comment right here, the little hashtag or pound symbol, if you want to be like that. Remove it, make sure there's no spaces there, and I would change this to whatever your PC allows it, but I do a minimum of 8, it shouldn't be higher than 10. If you're running a server and you don't have 8 gigabytes, you might have to go 6, 6 might be able to work. That should be enough for both your OS, but if not, then you're kind of out of luck. I say a minimum 6, maximum 10. 8 is like the sweet spot. Yeah, make sure you save, come on here, and when you click run, it will, you know, run up the server like it is normally. And I'll get back to you once a certain file loads, and I'll tell you how to edit it itself. So you can make more, you know, changes to your world. Ah, so this popped up. You might have, to, you might get this message being pop up, I have quick allow access. On both and that's what it defaults to, and it should be fine. Alright, now that the server is fully loaded, you can tell it's loaded because you get a message called can't keep up, it's a server overloaded. It'll give you a random number, but it's fine. If you really want to test, you can type in slash say hi. And if it pops up, uh oh, the server might have crashed. Whatever. <laughs> if it pops up in there later, or I may have to type in here. No, we're just fully crashed. Whatever, ignore it. The server is fine. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so. This is one thing I'm point out. You might see this little error message code right here. This means nothing. This always happens for every everyone. Apparently, it goes away after a while, so you don't have to worry about it. But yes, this is an error message that appears. It's fine. Cool. So to stop the server, you just do slash stop. I think it typed in. Yep, there we go. Slash stop. It should be fine. And once it's fully stopped, you'll get like a message saying you can close terminal. Cool. Now, I, one of the re reasons I wanted to come here is so you can go to the server properties file, open up some of your text and choice, and now you can edit whatever you want. Um, make sure I always allow, allow flight set to false, 
You can set the difficulty here, you can set the hard mode, survival, all that stuff in here will be in this file right here in case you need it. Cool. Now I'm going to switch over to demonstrating what you need to do if you want to install the developer, sorry, the dev version of this pack. So for starters, let's create a server. So it's a folder called CNE server. It's not needed, you can name it whatever, but this is the way to keep it organized. You can put it on your desktop or anywhere else you need it to be. This is just so it's easy, easily accessible. Next, go to the third link or the GitHub link, open it up, and it will take you to a page that looks like this once it loads. Cool. Once you're here, don't worry about anything else that it says here. It should be fine. Hold up. Yeah, so this is the right version. Just click the link. It should take you to the newest updated version. Some stuff might look different by the time you're here, but all the matters is you click the link. And if you go here, you can do download the zip. You can install whatever you want in your folder. I'm going to save this to my downloads folder. And... Alright, let me not save it to my downloads folder. Let's just save it to my desktop. Sorry about that. This is on my desktop. I can open it. Sorry, I don't open it. What you want to do is, I personally use Curse Fortress because I know it works the best. But you might have to use, so you might be able to use another launcher. But I'm 100% know that Curse Forge works. So you might have to download it, set up a Curse Forge account, and all that. That's fine. Just know if you try this with another launcher, it might not work. But I know it works with Curse Forge. As Curse Forge lo loads, I. Sorry, what you need to do is you need to click Create Custom Profile, Import Previously Made Profile. Find wherever you put that profile at on your desktop or wherever you downloaded it. So you know it's called create arcane engineering that dev zip and let it fully extract. And once it's fully extracted, I'll be right back. Now that's fully extracted, I want you to open up the mod folder and copy all the contents inside of here to the CNA CNA uh, CA, CAE server that we already made previously and just paste it in there or you can cut it depending on what you want to do. If you want to save space or you just want to delete the other folder, completely up to you. Yes, once this is all finished, I want you to click either the first link if you want to be taken to the direct website, or the second link if you want to get a direct installer. If you click the second link, it would take you to here. Sorry, take you to the CurseForge download page. I am going to set it to once again my desktop. It's for convenience because I know I have nothing here. But once, ooh, sorry. I wouldn't suggest that, um, downloading that to your desktop. Once you click the second link, I suggest um, it's putting it in your CNA, C CNA, uh, C A N E server, putting it in there. And once it's in here, you can click it. Make sure you install server. Make sure it's set to the same place, the C A N E server. And once it's there, let it's finishing its full process. Cool. Now that it's finished downloading, all you have to do is either for run Linux, if there's probably more steps to do on Linux, you will click run.sh, and if you're on Windows, you click run.bat, let it run, give it like a few minutes, and then we'll stop and tell you to leave. There you go, it says you have failed to read the EULA, so all you have to go to do is go to the EULA, go, remove the false, don't add any extra spaces, and type capital T R U E, save it, you know, capital true, just make sure everything is capital. You can exit out of here, and then you can click run that bat or run the sh again to actually get the service started. And once this gets fully downloaded and fully prepared, I'll be back with a little bit more extra information. Ah, uh, yes, sorry. I forgot two very important things. Well, a few very important things. So what you want to go here is you want to go to your CNE or server, and whatever you named it to, and click mods. And what, you, and what you need to do is you need to find a few mods. You need to find a mod called Rubidium. Ooh, it's kind of embarrassing. And you need to find a called Rubidium. Where is it located at? There, yeah, Rubidium and Rubidium Extras. Remove these. You need to find Oculus, which of course you could just type it in. Oculus Flywheel Oculus and Oculus, remove both of these, and you also need to remove a third mod called Legendary Tooltips. Now this is for the current version of the dev version, there might be more um, client client mods you might have to remove for later, if so, I will update it in a text document and I will make a pinned comment about all the mods that you need to remove. 
cool. So now you have all those mods removed. If you boot up the server now, there should be no problems. Alright, well, my server crashed because my PC couldn't handle streaming and making the server at the same time. But, what I will say, once the server fully loads, you probably get like a few error messages that's saying like, multi-block structure at, in the, you know, negative 33,000, blah blah blah. That, if that error pops up, it's fine. Just ignore it. Once it pops up, type slash stop, or you can just press X on the top right of your server, they both work, but I was saying slash, typing slash stop is safer, waiting for it to say press the T to continue, and once it says that, you can come back here and go to server property, server that property, so you can change multiple things, make sure allow flight set to false, sorry, set to true, because this will let, make it so you get kicked out, you don't have to do all caps, sorry. Um, let's make sure that's set to true, and you can change things like here to the difficulty, the game mode, you can force the game mode, and a bunch of other stuff. Just make sure you really set allow fight to true because that makes you get kicked out sometimes, and it's very annoying. Cool. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention for this section: the Java arguments. This is probably I see why my server crashed. You probably ran out of memory. Make sure you go and set your memory to at least a minimum of six, but nothing above ten. A very good sweet spot. It's eight gigabytes. This is just for your, um, you know, for your server. So make sure that it actually has enough room, um, room and space where it has multiple players or anything. It's, it's just a great idea to set. Just don't go over ten unless you absolutely need to. Now for the more experimental settings, this is for both mods. So you can open up your user Java arguments folder, and we can add additional arguments to here. And these three, right here will be listed in the description and also in the text documents. And all you have to do is just paste these right here on the uncommented line. And you know, you can just throw all of these in here. You can try out what's set. Don't post all of them at once. This, these are separated for a reason. These are each different types of jog arguments. The one in the middle is the one that I know works pretty well for most people. Uh, the one in the middle, sorry, the top one works well for most people. The one in the middle is a bit outdated, but worked best for me. And the one right here, this is another another person in the server suggesting me this one, so you can try this one too, in case your server is having performance issues. Let's try these out. And remember, this can be subject to change. You have to make changes to 6, you might have to change this to 10, depending on what your server needs. But everything else right here is just dependent on trying to make your server run better. But yeah, that should be everything. If there's more, I'll oh, put in a pinned comment, and yeah, put in a pinned comment, and I'll edit the text document. So yeah, thank you for watching. See ya. Have fun, arcaning, whatever. <laughs>